So we heard about this new coffee place in Yukaipa over TikTok called Roast the Dead. And uh, Yukaipa is like a really small town. And so we didn't think it was going to be packed, but we were wrong. This thing is packed. We've been waiting like 30 minutes now. This place better be it. I'm already not a big coffee fan, but I'm excited to see how the inside looks. The inside of this coffee shop was absolutely amazing. It's not very big, but it's filled to the brim with horror memorabilia. If you're into the horror scene, you need to check this place out. It's absolutely cool inside. With movie posters, props, and everything. It's a nice little scene to it. I got the Helter Skelter, basically just a black tea lemonade. It's pretty damn bomb. Tastes like pomegranate to me. Pretty good. It's only been open for two weeks and it's popping. They close at five and on Saturdays they have vendors that come out here in the parking lot and they sell, you know, Halloween and horror stuff and food. So you in the area, check it out. Get here early. We had to wait like 30 minutes. I got the Haya Georgie. It the Clown. What it's a think? blended cold brew. It's delicious. It's a uh, buttered popcorn with candy pieces on top. Surprisingly, not too sweet. A, a green corn candy. Do you like it? Yeah. You know what it's called? Hey. It's okay. a color corn. You're done. Is it good? Mm -hmm. it Annabelle, good? did you like yeah. it? <laughs> the Voorhees. It was a toasted marshmallow with a mocha drizzle. Bomb. 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 Mm. I got the uh, six feet under. It's cookies and cream mm. blended with a cold brew. Mm. Very nice. Topped right. with a uh, green whipped cream <laughs> and sprinkles. So what did you think? Pretty good, it's delicious. Also, it's really cool in there. Like the aesthetic is really cool. If you're used to Starbucks, you're used to dropping like 30 bucks if you're gonna buy three drinks and it was like 16 bucks for three drinks. Yeah, and, and I got an iced and blended. This was only like $5.50, which for like a frappuccino, that's that's really good. So check it out. Daddy. So today we're at the Living Desert, like a zoo for desert animals and stuff like that. We're celebrating my nephew's birthday. Is he turning four? How old yeah. are you? Four, four years old. And so today's his day. Enjoy the day with us. This is also the very first time Jamie's ever been to a zoo. She loves animals. She's always asking us if she can keep a pig or a mole or a lion. She just loves animals and wants them to all be her pets. And she told us from the start that all she wanted to do was feed a giraffe and hopefully we get the chance to do that. This is like the coolest thing ever. There's literally, it's a habitat. I can literally just walk to them. Those are wallabies. Literally just two feet from me. Insane. This place is already awesome. I love it. Now we just wrapped up the Australia side. So now we're gonna take a break, let the kids use the potty and uh, have some snacks. And then we're gonna make our way to the Africa side. That's the part we've really been wanting to go to because we wanna feed the giraffes. Sometimes they let you feed them, sometimes they don't. Fingers crossed. Just grab it. Feed them one at a time. Okay. Okay. Only one at a time, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. Mom, you know, yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. So we just came back from the giraffe habitat. Luckily, we were the last people that were able to feed them before they just herded off into the rest of the field. 
That was the one thing she wanted to do was feed the giraffes and we were able to do it. We lucked out on that one. And it was really cool. Now we're gonna see the rest of the Africa section. All right, so we just wrapped up our day here. We were here for like a good three, four hours. There's actually a lot of stuff to see here. And for a family of three, it was only 60 bucks. So if you're in the Palm Springs area, this is a pretty cool place to check out. The Living Desert. A lot of cool things. A lot of interactive things, like being able to actually be next to the animals and feeding them and stuff like that, which was really cool. The little ones really liked that. Um, all in all, a really fun trip. Didn't even rain that much either. We were really worried that it was gonna rain and it didn't, so. Check it out, peeps, it was really fun.